Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to onboard Unix account via SSH keys. It is a very straightforward process. You won't miss it as long as you follow the right procedures. You need to make sure you have good system health on your CyberArk component. I have PVWA, CPM, PSM or connected. I'm going to use some um, Azure uh, VM as an example. I'm going to use SSH public key as an authentication method. Change the username to NASDAQ. I'm going to generate the new public key. I'm going to allow SSH port 22. Review and create. We're going to download the private key and create the resource. This is our private key. I'm going to place, paste it into my sandbox and to, to testing. First, you need to generate a private key for yourself, the right format. This is spam format. So you have to load your private key. We're going to save our private key. It's a PPK format. Deployment is completed. Let's go to the resources and find out the public IP. We're going to use in a new generated private key to connect to it. We're going to save our sessions. New key, from, new key fingerprint has been found. The name is Nasek. OK, we are in. We can see authentication with public key. So we can use our private key to log in to our remote target without using password. Now we can onboard this NetSec account into our CyberArk. Add the account. It's a Unix system. You need to have a platform for Unix via SSH keys. I create a duplicate the template, create one for myself, and then I'm gonna save to the user 001. So the address, remote server address. Username is NASSEC. You can see here will not ask you the, the password. They will just ask you the private key. So we can choose that. So 
So we add the, the private key PPK file and you can skip all those account properties, enable automatic password management, add into Sidebar. So the account was added successfully. Now we can do a remote testing, connect. So it's using PSM, SSH, connection component to do the connection. Okay. So you can tell it's session has been recorded. We got a notification there and then we logged in. We can do verify the private key, or we can reconcile or change the key. So we're going to do change the key. So once we change the key, our party session won't work anymore. The party session we saved here. This party session, we have a private key associated with it right now. It's working beautiful, but once we change the key, it won't work. But we can download the key and use in party again. We're going to present that process. We are waiting the CPM change the key file for us and then we're gonna try to log in using party and using PSM. PSM should still working but party won't work since the private key has been changed. I can see we have two versions per now. So one is previous one. So then password manager has changed to another new one. Let's look at the activities. You can tell CPM rotated SSH key. Now we do connect again. And then we can retrieve and copy the key as well to connect okay we should be able to connect to it if it's a new key you can see the public key name has been changed If we do the same thing using the old key, we won't be able to log in. No support authentication method available. But if we download retrieve the key, copy.
we can save our private key new to into one we got a new key here we can change the key to this new key and we should be able to still log in we are using new key to log in that's all for this unix via ssh key account onboarding and the cpn rotating video thank you very much Thank you.